Doctor.net processing point. Welcome back. Well, as the competition intensifies, it is time to do an updated comparison of the Merchant Doctor's phone swipe versus Square. Now we have a lot of ground to cover, so we're going to break this into a two part series. Today we're going to take a look at a straight side by side comparison of the two companies. And then in part two of our series, we're going to look at some of the features and benefits that each company offers that the other one does not, so that you can make the absolute best decision for your business. Now, one thing we are not going to talk about is pricing, because the terms and pricing between the two companies is virtually exactly the same. They both offer great flat rate pricing with free card readers, no contracts, no monthly fees, etc. So pricing is not an issue. We are actually going to look at the service and the features that each company is able to offer. So let's jump right in and look at a side-by-side -side comparison. So in comparing the two services, I found five distinct differences that I'd like to run through with you real quickly. Now the first one is a myth that Square would love for you to continue to believe. However, the simple fact is that when you sign up for a Square account, you are not cutting out the middleman. Square is not a credit card processor. As a matter of fact, when you process a payment or a purchase through Square, they're actually utilizing Chase Payment Tech and the sponsoring bank of Chase Bank to process that payment. So Square is not a credit card processor, which means they're very much so like every other merchant service provider in the marketplace, with one distinct exception. And that is that Square is what you call an aggregator. So when you sign up for an account with Square, you are actually getting an account that is in Square's name that you have access to. Now that account has the funds from all of their other merchants going into and coming out of it, which does pose some security concerns, as well as the fact that it puts the funds from your hard-earned dollars in complete control of Square, because they technically become the property of Square until they are redistributed back out to you, which very much so like PayPal, gives Square the right to hold your funds for any reason they see fit. Now you compare that with a uh, phone swipe account over at the Merchant Doctor and they will set you up with a unique merchant account that is designed specifically for your business. And the funds that go into and come out of that account will not be commingled with any other business's funds. So you're getting an actual merchant account over here, whereas with Square you're just gaining access to an aggregated account. Now next to my list we have customer reviews. If you hop over to the iTunes store, you'll see that the phone swipe gets four stars, while Square only gets three stars on their service. And if you dig in a little further and read through the customer reviews, you will see that uh, the major complaints on the Square side of things to give them only a three star rating come from three different directions. One is that funds are consistently held for 30 days or more. Two is that there's no customer service and three is that the card reader is poorly made or never arrived. Now if you go and read the reviews for the phone swipe uh, that caused them to get a four star instead of a five star review, you will find that since phone swipe can be represented by a number of different independent sales agencies, that a lot of the complaints actually go back to the sales office who sold the product in the first place and not back to the service itself. Um, and that is really the major complaint that I saw on iTunes with phone swipe. So third on my list, let's talk about the card readers real quickly. Now Square finally released a card reader that is encrypted upon swipe, so they are now PCI compliant. However, there are still a number of complaints that the card reader is unreliable, poorly made, or never arrived. And when customers have a problem with their card reader, they have an incredibly difficult time getting a hold of anybody to service that problem. Now you compare that with the phone swipe card reader. Uh, the phone swipe card reader is made by Rome Data, which is the number one uh, manufacturer of secure mobile payment devices in the world. And they are well renowned for putting out the highest quality card reader on the market. So you're actually getting an amazing card reader there. The only thing you have to remember with either service is that when you swipe a credit card, you need to make sure that your media volume is turned up all the way. If it's not turned up all the way, there's a good chance that the credit card will not be or will be misread. 
Now, fourth on my list here, we have customer service. Once again, one of the biggest complaints for Square is that they have zero customer service. For such a well-funded company not to have a call center for merchants to call into when they have a question or an issue it is very frustrating. They only have two points of service. You can either send them an email and hope for a response or try and reach out to them on Twitter. And that is how you are provided customer service with Square. If you compare that with phone swipe over at the Merchant Doctor, you'll find that the Merchant Doctor offers five points of service. Not only can you con contact the Merchant Doctor team directly via phone or email, but you're also provided with a 24-7 US-based call center to answer your questions. It's based in the US so that you're ensured that there will be someone there that can understand your problem. Additionally, you have a merchant portal that has a complete video training series that can teach you all about the different features and functions of the app as well as troubleshooting guides and in your uh, merchant portal you will find a customer contact as well. So there's five points of service over on the phone swipe side. Now, uh, number fifth here, uh, we have uh, account limitations. Now, this is another big complaint from Square users, and that is if you manually enter transactions over $2,002 in any given 30-day period, your funds will be held for 30 days. That means if you sell over $2,000 in a month, or a week, or a day, anything, you won't see that money for over a month. Whereas with the Merchant Doctor and your customized merchant account, you will have an account that is designed to fit the needs of your business regardless of your sales volume. Now, if your business grows rapidly, it is easy to change any limitations that are put on that account so that you will never have any funds held or delayed funding times. Which means that a custom account, a custom merchant account over here with the Merchant Doctor is virtually limitless. So these are five major differences between the two services. Now let's take a look at what we're going to talk about next week. So next time on The Processing Point, we're going to take a look at the features, benefits, and services that each company offers that the other one does not so that you can make the most intelligent choice for your business's needs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will make sure to address those as quickly as possible. In the meantime, jump on over to Facebook, Google+, or Twitter and join the Merchant Doctor so that you can be a part of the Merchant Doctor revolution.